Good morning. Hello. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. And if you joined me yesterday, yesterday was a terrible day. And today we have done as much as we can to mean that it is not a terrible day. And in the Lord's kindness, we were able to have a good morning routine. And I am warmed up. Uh, here is some footage of me practicing some of the exercises that I used to do before going live on radio and some that I got from a voice coach over the summer. Uh, I know there's as many opinions as a piece of string. That is not the right phrase. Anyway, uh, this is some of the stuff that I got up to. Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch. Benedict Cumberbatch bought a delicate luggage rack. Benedict Cumberbatch bought a delicate luggage rack. She sells seashells on the seashore, and the shells she sells are surely seashells for sure. Red lorry, yellow lolly, red lorry, yellow lolly, red lorry, yellow lolly. <laughs> Because it is recording day, actually now, instead of yesterday's car crash of that. So I'm going to be recording an audiobook sat in our <laughs> bedroom three, which thankfully has not been booked out on Airbnb because that would be a little bit tricky. And my husband is very, very, very kindly currently setting it up. John has done a stellar job. Can you even hear how dead it is? And this is still with this bit open and the door open, but I'm amazed this is beautifully made up and the thing I love about it is it's not buying more kit at least at this point that just takes up a lot of room being in a London flat we do not have a lot of space so being able to repurpose a clothes horse and blankets is what I'm about so uh, yeah we're ready to go I have my post-it notes with the people who I'm representing the stories of I'm hopeful uh, that having prepared correctly I have everything here I feel like I know the characters, I feel like I know who I'm representing, I feel like I understand what the publishers are after and the folks that they're working with. I will just do audio level checks and then we ride. Just had a little break going into chapter three. Wonderfully, it is going <laughs> well. I don't know, maybe that's an overstatement, I haven't heard it. I've listened to a bit of it back, I just made sure I did a quick check after chapter one. Um, just turning back on. Uh, yeah, it's going really well, I think, which is a lovely thing. It's quite hard when you're self-producing and that you're listening for your own edits and having to catch yourself. Whoa! It's a lunchtime wrap and I can fold myself out of this wonderful little recording booth. It's brilliant and uh, I'm perfect temperature. It's like cosy warm but not too cooking. I will show you what it properly looks like because John has worked so hard on this and it's been really great to use. Ta -da! I mean, you wouldn't know it was a clothes horse. I think that is amazing. But there is basically the chair covered in various bits of fabric. We've got Bible and a book propping it up so we can have a read. Oh, 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 content. Just had some lunch. My Zoom. Oh, I can hear myself in my ears. It's so weird. Uh, everything is ready. I'm snug as a bug a rug, literally wearing rugs. Got my little set up up and running but i have another four to go i have my post-it note for my next character i have the script and ooh, i have oh no i haven't got me water i have to text my husband because i ain't gonna climb out of here and get back in again without dismantling something all uh, right insanity is clearly starting to set in but uh i'm gonna do another four and then i'm going to nip out to the shops because i really want to get some baking ingredients because it's the bake along tomorrow and Oh, someone has just messaged me. Yes, thank you. They are sending me an email with some info. Yes, that's great. That's really, really great. Anyway, tomorrow is the Bake Along, Christmas Bake Along with Martha Collinson from The Bake Off like a while ago. She is great. She is so, so great. So she is baking gingerbread with Ed from Faith and Kids and that is happening at two o'clock. I'm getting excited about somebody else's gingerbread man and, and women. We're definitely making a merry. And I need to buy some butter because uh, someone local here would like to do it and I'm really excited for them to do it because I had extra ingredients from when we were on the shoot and uh, Martha's biscuits turned out great and I was partly responsible for measuring them out so I'm happy to pass that on but I don't trust our butter because it was still butter left over from when the fridge freezer died a slow death. I am done. I am done. I am emerging from the chrysalis. I am a beautiful butterfly. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go celebrate with John. I'm thankful. Oh, it's been it's been a massive privilege. I feel like all I've done is been like, what? But 
honestly, hearing these people's stories has been just amazing. It's been incredible. I feel like I've met these people. It's really bizarre. Um, I just hope, I hope I have done a fair job in representing them well. I feel like when I listen to an audiobook, I'm just like, cool. I don't think that there's someone at the other end of that who is considering their art form as a success or fail, depending on what comment I put in the audible, like, bit at the bottom. Because I would, de I'm definitely going to be reading what people write. So, I'm sure they do too. To be fair, I'm the one that's like, this was really well read. If it was well read, I will definitely say so. Um, yeah. All the thoughts. Right, I'm gonna go and tell John that we are done! We are done! We are done! We are done! Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to do any of the things that indicate you have enjoyed or have a comment on this video in any shape or form, please feel invited to do that now. Another news. Um, take care. Goodbye.